now I'm going to check the FPV whether it is transmitting the video signal or not so first what I'll do I'll power up this quad um, let me just connect the battery here so that so here we can check whether it is transmitting or not and let's see now I'm connecting the battery so I'm connecting this battery here okay so it is turned on here you can see okay if you see here see you can see okay you can see now there are three lines up here okay you can see here now this you can see th three dashes that means it is in 200 milliwatts that means it is good for outdoor means for the long range okay so if you are planning to fly this in uh, indoor what you can do is you can see there will be a button here okay so there is a button here you can see here by pressing this you can change okay Now it is in this. So this is for indoor. See two lines. Two lines for a different setup. Like one you can keep it for indoor, one dash if it is showing one dash that is good for indoor for the uh, less distance. So two is kind of like a medium. So if you are planning to use it for outdoor keep it three dashes so make sure so that it will be something like 200 milliwatts for the long range okay I set it in this so, so now I'll just check it uh, is it transmitting the video signal or not we are sure that this is transmitting the signal okay and let's see So, so now I have this uh, FPV goggle. Okay, these are eShine VR006 goggles. Okay, so let's see whether it is receiving any signal or not. So I'll switch on. So it is switched on okay and if I press this button scan it will be scanning for the good channel so now it is started scanning So now it is selected a good channel. So what I will do, I will just uh, keep something here and just try to, so you can see, okay. Okay, you're able to see this. That means it is transmitting the signal. So it is good. So now I'll place the propellers. Okay. So you can see here. Okay. So now what I will do? I will install the propellers. 
so now I'm going to install the propellers so you can see the motor direction so you can see the arrows here right it is um, anti-clockwise okay so anti-clock so for that you have to use this so which should rotate like this so how you will identify which prop you have to use is the you see the direction so if this is facing this so this will be counterclockwise prop okay and uh, if you see here this is the clockwise motor so it will be rotating like this for that you have to use this kind of propeller so where you see the direction the leading edge okay should be facing this side that means it is a clockwise propeller so this and this will have a clockwise uh, propeller and uh, this and this adding clockwise propeller okay so something like this okay so it will be something like this and uh, here it will be like this okay so just see the edge this edge in which direction this edge is there so based on that we can identify is it a clockwise prop or counterclockwise prop so this will be rotating like this okay and this will be rotating like this this edge you just see okay just look at this edge. so now i will install these propellers then i'll go for test flight okay